Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3. Last time we made a sim. Um, off camera I made a house, being his ass a lot easier. I'm not very good at concentrating, I'm not very good at multitasking, so... I decided to make it off camera. So, anyway, what are we gonna do now? Um, I think I should show you around the UI. Um, that, this is map view, um, shortcut for is a key M. And when you click on it, it brings you a view with a map, and you can click wherever you want, and the sim will go there. Um, this is my sim view. Wherever your sim is, clicking on that, will go to wherever your sim is standing. That makes it record, but I'm using another editing software, because it makes the game go super slow. Um, this is the options menu. You have multiple things to do. You can save, save as, you can just change the name of the save file. Lessons, if you want to enable the tutorials or just have a look at any random tutorial. If you don't know how to do something and you want to learn it, just go through here and it should be you. Um, then you have edit town where you can edit multiple buildings around the town. Options, and then you've got the different types of options. Um, the video capture size. You can listen to the music. You can, you can um, look at how, may, how much free will someone's got. You can have low free will, off, or high free will. I'm gonna have high free will on. Disable autonomy for selected sim. Now autonomy is when you turn autonomy off. Only the sim that you are selected right now will be able to move around. The others will basically get on with their life as it is. Um, lifespan, you can control how long they live. I mean, this is a let's play, I'm going to make some alterations here. Um, young adult, uh, 31 days. Adult, 31 days. Elder, 31 days. Yeah, that looks dandy to me. Yeah, let's click keep that. Um... So we've gone through the options. This just takes a screenshot of whatever's on the screen. Um, here are the camera options. That tilts it to a bird's eye view. That tilts it to more of a first 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 person view. This zooms in. This zooms out. This rotates to the this rotates to the right and this rotates to the left. Um, you have the three modes. Live mode, where you can play sims. B buy mode, where you can buy furniture. Build modes, where you make the walls and paint and put flooring down. Now, this is the wish box. This is upcoming wishes. You can accept or deny them. Accept them, you left click. Deny them, you right click. I want to accept this wish because I'm going to get him a job as a doctor in a couple of minutes. But you can also deny them. You can deny them here as well. This is the lifetime wish. He wants to become a world renowned surgeon. These are the different types of plays. You can have pause, so that means nothing's happening. Normal speed, things go as normal. Fast speed is double the normal speed, and ultra speed is extremely fast. And this does ultra speed through whatever actions up here. These are the moodlets. They basically describe how the sim is thinking. So if your sim is depressed, it'll come up here. If the sim is tired, it'll come up here, and so forth. And you can only get rid of these by doing certain actions. Um, some are green like this. That means they're positive. They have a positive effect on the mood meter. Some are negative, which means they have a negative effect on the mood meter. And some are natural, which means they have no effect on it. But most of the mood comes from these. These are the needs of the sin. Hunger, you can satisfy that by getting them some to eat. Bladder, you know, I'm not going to describe that. Energy, um, you can get from coffee, which I have right here. One sec. <sighs> social is, um, social is moved up and down by how much your sim is talking to people. Lone, loner sims won't get socially needy as much. Just a thought. Hygiene. You know, that's 
the shower or bath. Fun is any, you know, extracurricular activities you might do that doesn't require sleeping, eat, eating and working, you know, like watching TV, which I have right here. This is the inventory, you can keep everything in here. Well, most things, you got to drag them into the inventory. Lifetime rewards, um, once you... You get these from unlocking wishes, and from when... When your sims mood is above this, you get one mood point every sim second. And they're very cool rewards here. Opportunities that can come up in Korea, skill or special, usually these appear while you're at work. And they have positive effects when you complete them. This is your inventory, not that, sorry. You can put most things in here, small objects, skills, you'll need skills to get up the job career, you can do them by performing various interactions with other objects. When you cook things, your cooking skill will improve, when you work out, your body skill will improve, and there are usually multiple ways to improve skill levels, some more efficient than others. Um, unemployed, you know, this is the job panel, Whatever job you have will appear down here. Or if you have a profession from ambitions, that will also come up down here. Relationships is, you know, your friends, your family, and your enemies. And this is just the general general information on your sim. The name, how many days until the age. An interesting fact, not all sims will start off at what you set them. So basically... You could get the young adult sim, and it could really be that way up the aging panel, which I think is a bit unfair, but whatever. Um, you know, this is all the stuff you put in create a sim. This is the family tree. Right now, I just created him, so there's nothing on there. This is the scrapbook. You can put all the memories. They're kind of annoying, so I haven't got them enabled. Right, so we've got everything out of the way. Let's get on with the game. So, the first thing I'm definitely going to want to do is get this guy a job. So, let's go into map view and have a look around. There's the hospital. Bam! Join medical career. Speed through the current action. Ooh, you can actually see them getting in the taxi. It's kind of fun. One sec. Where is he? There we go. Yeah, that will automatically lock onto your sim as well, so... Also, will right clicking on the icon. That's a great feature of The Sims 3, unlike The Sims 2 and Sims 1. It's an open neighborhood, you don't need to sit through very boring loading screens to get to certain places. A uh, negative thing is, even though they've got all the buildings, which you do now in The Sims 2, the rabbit holes where you can't go inside. That's what happens when you try. See, it's just all sand inside, which is stupid. So, organ donor, and I really don't get that career at all. Because if you are an organ donor, you'll probably die by the time you get promoted. So, he needs to be in work at 9am on Monday. Now, boss is Shirley Lynn. She is a resident, so... Why would a resident be... Tutoring an organ donor. I mean, I can understand an intern or something, but uh, don't worry, I've been watching too much scrubs. So, if I want to go home, I just click on this thing they, right here. And let's speed through that. Let's accept all these wishes. So, we're back inside. And. Hmm. <laughs> So, which one of these wishes do I want to fulfill? Right, okay, we need more logic to get this. And I mean, as I have no telescope, let's go and buy one. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to explain the buy mode and build mode. Um, there are two different types of functions. So by function, so by room. So by room basically gives you a basic layout of a kitchen, or whatever room, like a bathroom. And you can plop all the objects down that you generally have. Um, so by function, you just you um, can have them by whatever they 
do. I mean, surfaces will be tables, comfort will be beds and chairs. Appliances will be things like refrigerators and cookers. Electronics is going to be TVs, computers, and stereos. And uh, miscellaneous is going to be like burglar alarms and phones. Entertainment, yeah, you know all of it. But I just want to be, but get. I want to get a telescope. So let's plop that down on the backyard. And let's look through that bad boy. So let's watch him. So he's looking at some girl. I, I can kind of guess why he's looking at her. He's probably being very rude, but whatever. So let's see what way the cam camera is angled at over years. So he's looking all the way across the river down to the graveyard. What a creep. So I'm just going to keep on doing this till the logic skill improves. If you want to make sure it does that, you click on the edge. It doesn't seem to be working here. Usually, there's a little thing attached to the edge. You can pull it and you'll, you'll carry on doing it until the skill improves. But I'm just going to click on this until he doesn't get it. Let's just stay back here for a minute. And then I will attend to his needs. Right, there you go. Right, he has improved the logic skill. He's in a better stance for promotion. So, let's get him to watch TV for a bit. Because, it looks like he was kind of bored doing that. What's this? There's a neighborhood grill -a -thon going on, but he hasn't got very good cooking skills, so I don't think I should try that just yet. Oh my god, he's pregnant. No, he's not. Hey, watch the TV, man. What if I find out they use Sims 2 for the TV shows? It's like they're too lazy to do it with the Sims 3. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> He's feeling calm. Why is he checking the sink? Oh yeah, he's neurotic. So let's read through the perks of all the wishes a minute. Your sim often can't quite get a grip on life. You can click on your sim to get a freak out action. Other sims will become disturbed, but your sim will become tranquil. What the hell that means? It takes a while for your sim to de-stress, but your sim can share worries with other sims to help relax. Your sim won't get sad or angry, just stressed out. Uh, it's not the best, but I wanted to make him look human, so I had to give him one bad trait. Boo. Right. So look at his needs. I um, he's getting a bit angry, and it's best to satisfy needs when they're halfway down, otherwise you'll end up regretting it later. So let's prepare himself some autumn salad. <sighs> victory sip. Minus the victory, just sip. Right, there's cabbage. That's not that's lettuce, sorry. Eggplant, pepper, lettuce. They, you can tell they put no effort into the food whatsoever. I mean, the sim looks kind of realistic, but the food looks really bad. Whatever. I guess that's olive oil, but he's like putting way too much on. So yeah, um, autumn salad is a great way to start off on the cooking scale because you can't burn the house down. Even if I did though, I've got a fire alarm so nothing bad will happen. So, eat. Mm. 
looks like he's enjoying that. Right, guys, mm -hmm. I think that's a wrap for now. Next time, he will be going to work. I think, yep, that should be on schedule. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to improve his logic skill a bit better. And, yeah, a lot of things are going to happen. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now. Hope you have a nice day.